world, it's your boy here, Meets the God, coming to you with another video. Today, we'll be checking out none other than Up Church. This is the future of country rap empire, bro. We want to see what he's talking about. There's no rapping. I told y'all I'll get that video to 100 likes. I'm going to start doing his uh his little talks he be having, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all want some more of this, then y'all just put it in the comment and I'll get right into it. With that being said, we're going to see what he's talking about and what's the future of the country rap empire. Let's rock, let's roll, let's get it, y'all. All right, look, I'm going to start this off by saying this. In my personal life, I know for a fact I ain't got to explain shit to nobody. I owe no explanation to anything in my fucking personal life. But when you are a leader and a lot of people look up to you and see you as a leader, there are certain things you do have to explain yourself on. Bottom line. Facts, bro. Those are all facts, bro. That's all truth. You have to. Perfect example, our country. Look at it. Yeah. Now, whether you like my choice of words or my reasoning on why I did something, that's up to you. It's a fucking free country. You can think whatever you want. Okay, look, you want to know my two cents? Here's my two cents. We finna talk about the upchurch and Calhoun beef. Now, there's a select few of people. I don't know if you come to shows or not. You own the internet. There's a select few people on the internet who don't like the way it went. My question to you is, what the fuck would you do in our position? There's two powerhouses. I would like to get the videos on that. If y'all got the videos, put that in my comments so I can get right into it. I want to re uh, review it and see what they're talking about, bro. That's right. Who share similar fan bases. Your friends throwing the event. You got fans of both of y'all at this big ass sold out show. There ain't even no fucking room left. Okay? At a mud park. Everybody's trying to have a good time. What would you do? I guarantee you, if you mad at either one of us, you would fuck the entire situation up going any other way than what we did. Was I fucking mad at Adam? Yes. Was Adam fucking mad at me? Yes. Were we scared of each other? No. What else do you want? Right. Are you mad because we didn't beat each other up? Boo fucking who? Yeah, man. And that's, that's, that, that's what I don't like about how we do this so-called internet thing because if it ain't violence you won't get views it gotta be some type of violence for people to watch you like come on man we gotta have some type of positivity around this world man there's too many negative people around here too many followers ain't enough leaders i keep saying that i'm gonna keep on saying that bro we need enough leaders around here man all you followers is just in the way bro y'all just standbys man Come on. Like I just said a minute ago, you gotta know when something's bigger than yourself. And this line of music, especially being independent, what we do and the shit that we fuck up, fucks up shit for the smaller ones down the line that are trying to come up the line. We are all guilty in this line of music, the big ones. We're all guilty of not communicating and we're all guilty of making each other competition instead of... Facts. Facts. You making each other competition. You see each other competition instead of working together, bro. Some of y'all don't want to work together because of your ego and you think you're bigger than everybody else, bro. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna mention no names, but that's what it is, bro. Banning together and all having the same competition that is not one another. For the artist that's coming up in this lane, think about this. If they're independent, they're already shunned halfway because they're not going in with the other shit cut that in half again because they're country redneck people right okay well if within the fucking lane of music that is country people rapping and shit if you have to cut that in half again yeah, by shit. compartmentalizing the fucking genre with do you like this guy or this guy or this guy the fucking percentage becomes so low they can't survive off making music they just can't. You know why? Because there's no group of elite people in this lane of music. Every other fucking lane of music has it. We don't. Yet. Every other lane of music has a fucking structured news media outlet specifically for their fucking genre. We don't. Every other fucking lane of music has a award show every year for every artist in the lane. We don't. And lastly, Look at all these other lanes that throw these big ass fucking parties and shit. And I don't mean for a show to make money. I mean for just to fucking hang out. Talk. I 
see where you're getting at, bro. And this is why he was saying we have to stick together type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't stick together, you're going to lose this battle. Then the genre of music is going to fade away, bro. Ain't nobody going to listen to the shit no more. It happens so often in music, in, in, in the industry, that the big guns will water it down, bro. Conversate, talk business, share ideas. We don't have that. Everyone else does. This does so much for so many different things. And that's what the that's the conversation that came out of this. I don't think people realize that. Like, we could have easily went viral and bopped each other up real quick. Who the fuck does that help? It only helps me and Adam. If the idea of this line of music that came out of this conversation comes true. By the way, shout out to Broadnex. What will this idea do? This idea, if everybody gets on the same page, this idea will make reaction views go up for past and future videos. There will be more to react to, way more, which means more revenue. Then you take the reaction channels and you carry them another fucking step. How you do that? You do it like this. If we had these channels that were news media outlets for country rap that were, whether it's some live stream or, or, or hell on Netflix or fucking, or even just YouTube, if we structure these to happen, you take the reaction channels, you give them the occupation on this other channel that everybody in the lane is pushing, adding all of our numbers together, pushing this one channel while these reactors be the spokes. Smart man. Why he's smart? Because he's thinking business-wise, bro. He's thinking about getting the genre better views, better reactions, getting more people involved in the genre of music, bro. Smart man. ...people on that channel and drive traffic back to their original channels. They get paid for being the spokesperson, they get more traction back to their channel, and then they go back to their channel and got more revenue there too. And to take it a step further, you don't keep the same reactors all the time. You get you a big list of them who take the shit serious and you rotate them. Then they have time to tend to their channel and be the spokesperson. And it's not even difficult. I even have a small list of reactors off the top of my head that are ones that I know for a fact would do good at this job. Simba TV, Vibe Reactions, Beats Bars and Delivery, Rabbit Hole TV, The Urban Experience, Big Omega Zeus, King B Wheezy, The Mix Up, Vibe with Ty reacts, Captain Kurt reacts, Hyper Jalen, Azuki, Roland Green, Locked Wolf reacts. That's just off the top of my head. I could find a lot more. But this is what I'm saying. We have everything to do this shit. We all just got to do it. This idea will also give the land of music the growth it needs properly too. And artists wouldn't have to make a fuck ton of albums to get noticed like we all did. I mean, hey. Hey, you don't really have to do all that, man. And, and, and you know, he got a great idea, bro. But all of them have to come together and work at the same common goal. That's the point he's trying to make right now. It's the independent lane, right? If all of our fight is to, to be independent and fight the mainstream, how do you do that? Imagine this. Imagine if every artist that is big in this lane at the same exact time was like, everyone go look at this new artist. And we helped structure them having EPs, albums, and music videos ready to go when we said, go check this dude out. Like FJ Outlaw or J Webb or Just Trey, uh, Nine Liner, like other people in this lane of music that we could just show y'all, just show y'all. Do you want to play college soccer? Then listen up. I'm Tom Shortland, the head coach at IMG Academy. The first step is to create a free profile with the NCSA with over 60. No strings attached, just put the limelight on them. See what the fans think. We all agree on who it is. We're like, all right, we're going to show everybody this person. Let's do it. Boom. Either y'all like them or you don't. Regardless, we're going, if we're doing it all the time, it's going to build a catalog of a big roster of good artists. Not only that, but if we do this award show thing for country rap, well, every other lane has like a breaking artist or a new artist or whatever. We know what these artists need coming up. We know you have to have. Now, another thing up church, what you can do, bro. And this is just coming from me. I know you, 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 you wrote on my channel. 
I seen you wrote on my channel. So what I've been noticing, bro, y'all can come together, put some money together to host a award show, bro, in Nashville. You know what I'm saying? It probably wouldn't cost y'all that much. Y'all all can come together, and then y'all can all buy, you know, the awards, you know, as a uh, a bundle. You know what I mean? And you can get it as a wholesale. As you, if you get it as a bundle, you can get it made however y'all want it. Um, but I think y'all can, you and the rest of the big guys in that genre can come together and host it, not host, but provide the money for this award show for country rap and just for country rap, bro. And you can start from there and have it like on YouTube, stream on YouTube at first until y'all start getting big. You know what I'm saying? Once y'all get big, you can start narrowing down to what streaming services y'all want to put it on. Um, I think it'd be a great thing, but you know. That's y'all stuff. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Just saying, you know, bro. Uh, yeah. You didn't say my name, though. I need to start doing some more country rap. So y'all put some uh, country rap artists down there in the comments, and I'm going to get right into it. Have a good vehicle to travel. We know you have to have good studio equipment. And we know you got to have a little bit of change to get the gears going. Okay? We know all those things. What if every time we had one of these award shows and we had like a breakout artist of the year, what if when they did win this award that would be voted in by you guys? Keep that in mind. This is no, this is no, we get to pick who wins on the backside. No, this is live. And this, the idea of this is voted in by y'all. And when this artist wins, they get a travel vehicle, a studio set up, a little bit of money to get their, get their gears rolling and a book of advice from all of us being on the road and all the shit we've experienced and just a few fucking tips and the phone number you can call if you need to. I've got a question. Dude, that'd be fucking epic. Now, of course, there's going to have to be accountability in all this, but that's what the whole structure's for. Accountability and responsibility. Once again, shout out to Broadnax. Bottom line is this lane of music's been around for a long time. The ones before us haven't really left us much to work with. If this shit is gonna continue on and other people like us are gonna write these kind of songs and take this position in music, it's gotta keep going and it has to be structured. Someone has to do it. And it's gotta be us. And I'm fucking cool with that. Are we gonna all agree on the same shit? Fuck no. Are we gonna like everybody that everyone hangs out with? Fuck no. Are we gonna structure something for our kind of people? So we can have the shit that everyone else has in every other land of music. Fuck yeah. That's what we are going to do. Cheers, motherfucker. Check out these deals of the week at Walgreens. There we go. There we go. There y'all have it. That was Up Church. That was uh, Future of the Country Rap Empire. Hopefully y'all like what I'm doing. If y'all want me to do more of these little things he does, little talks. Put what y'all want me to do in the comments, and I get right into it. With that being said, your host Ron and Cut 2.0. I'm Mister Guy, and I'm out, y'all. Else.